On this very day, last week, right here, I stood and told you that Nike had made a huge error and they got it all wrong when it came to the Nike Phantom Vision 2 in the Hyper Venom Phantom 1 colorway. I said it wasn't good enough that they just put the color on the Vision 2 and that they hadn't gone further and given us a one-to-one -one remake of the Hyper Venom Phantom 1. Today, I'm going to tell you almost the exact opposite about a boot that Nike has made. They have not made a one-to-one -one remake upper of, and they have simply put the old colorway, the vibes, onto a brand new boot. Am I a hypocrite, or am I actually a genius? You're a wizard. I'm James, this is Boot Wizard. These are the Mercurial Vapor 13 Elites with the Superfly 1 launch colorway facelift for the future DNA pack. Remember to like the video, get subscribed, and of course, visit us at patreon.com forward slash bootwizard. Well, let's check out the boots. So let's kick off. Yes, you get a string bag as you do with almost every single Nike Elite level boot. However, the same as the Vision 2, this is just the regular Mercurial string bag. There's nothing special about it, even though these are a special release boot. It's just a regular bag in this new in this color that matches up with the boots. Mm, kind of. It's slightly off. But you know what? You get a string bag, it's nice, and I'm not complaining about it. So this is the brand new colorway in the Nike Mercurial Vapor 13 and it is designed to replicate what we would have had on the Superfly 1, the Superfly 1 launch color and that is very, very important because the launch color was basically impossible to buy to the general public. It's iconic, everybody knows it, the Superfly was such a big deal when it came out, it was the pinnacle of Nike's technology, but they somewhat fell apart, exploded, they were probably the least durable football boots around, and that's not talking about how uncomfortable they were as well. So this colorway got pulled from the shelves. So not many people own a pair of these, unless your name's Cristiano Ronaldo and you happen to be scoring bangers in them for Man United at the time of release. So that's one reason why having this colorway is so awesome because it's something that not many of us have ever been able to have or even get in hand. So we can now get that on a pair of boots, unlike the Hyper Venom, which isn't that difficult to get hold of. However, in that case, why not give us a one-to-one -one remake of a Superfly 1? Well, in all honesty, because they're bloody terrible. <laughs> I've already mentioned they kind of fall apart a bit, but also they were some of the most uncomfortable boots you were going to come across. They were designed to be light, to be responsive, to be fast, but honestly, uncomfortable is the first word that comes to mind, and I have no desire to own or wear a pair of one-to-one -one remake upper Superfly 1s unless they make some modifications. So this is an awesome compromise. This is the current top end speed boot on the market. In my view, this is the best speed boot that you can buy. It is the pinnacle of Nike's technology. It's exactly what the Superfly 1 was at the time and they've given it a Superfly 1 color up makeover and I am completely okay with that. In terms of the looks on the upper and the coloring, Nike have got this practically spot on. The red coloring is perfect, the silver is perfect and they've even added in the little mercurial branding just here 
which is exactly the same as you'd have got with that old school mercurial style font. Very, very cool. I'm not crazy about adding the Nike football project information on the back. I think it would have been nicer to just keep it clean, classic and like the original, but I don't hate it. And the swoosh is a little bit too grey for my liking. It needs to be almost a little bit more purple to match in with the original perfectly. However, I am absolutely nitpicking here. So everything aside from the paint job is Mercurial Vapor 13 Elite. So if you want to check out my review of that, you can click up in the corner here. It's the same boot with a new color on it. And that applies to the sole plate and tooling as well. You get this fantastic aggressive split sole, which is great. However, the original Superfly 1 had a full carbon fiber outsole. And I'd have liked to have seen Nike at least put a carbon fiber effect into the two stud housings on either end of the boot. I don't mind so much that they've kept that red and silver look coming under the split sole because I understand that if they'd have made that black it might not have looked the best even if they'd have added a carbon fiber graphic but I think in these two areas here a wearable finish carbon fiber graphic would have looked fantastic and they probably should have gone with that. Would have nice to have had some holes in the studs too, but I think that's asking a bit too much. Uh, the original Superfly had holes drilled through the studs to save weight um, because they were trying to make it the lightest possible boot they could. Fantastic look. Didn't do much at all, but um, yeah, they're definitely not going to do it on this, but I would have loved to have seen it. So let me know, am I being a giant hypocrite or do these boots with this beautiful giant toe swoosh deserve all the love? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like the video, of course. Remember to head over to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash bootwizard where you can get content just like this before anybody else and exclusive. And finally, if you haven't already, remember to get subscribed for all of my future stuff. But that's all from Boot Visit here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one, and we'll see you soon.